Factsverse presents… These three teenagers didn't know that this selfie would capture their death. Sisters Kelsey and Savannah Webster, along with their friend Essa Ricker, spent a lot of time outdoors taking pictures of one another and posting them on social media. In love with their small-town community and the perfect blend of suburban life and wild, wide-open spaces just outside city limits, these three would regularly head to Covered Bridge Canyon just on the outskirts of Uinta National Forest in Utah. In October 2011, just as the fall season was really starting to come in, these three girls decided to head out into the Covered Bridge Canyon region for a quick photo shoot. They had absolutely no idea that the final picture they took that afternoon would be the final picture that they ever took, and that the photo also captured their killer. Kelsey and Savannah had grown up in Sonora, California. Kelsey was just two years older than her sister, but both of them had been growing up playing sports. Kelsey was into volleyball and a star on her team. Savannah preferred basketball and had become one of the most important players of her team, both offense and defense. Both of these girls were active in the community, they'd fallen in love with the arts there, and had been participating in a local theater group in the region for years and years. In July 2011, just a few years after their parents had separated, both of these sisters moved to the town of Spanish Fork in Utah. They came to the town with their father David, a carpenter in the community, leaving behind their mother who remained working and living in the Sonora community, a nurse at a local hospital. Two of their other sisters, younger sisters Amanda and Brenna, decided to stay behind with their mother. This theater group is where the two sisters met their friend Essa. She was also quite active in the local community, playing sports and a big part of the same theater group that the sisters were members of. All three went to the same high school, lived in the same neighborhood, and all three quickly became very, very good friends. On that October day, they set out into the woods to take pictures of one another to share with their friends and to highlight in an upcoming school art exhibit. Their cameras showed dozens of different pictures that had been taken throughout the afternoon, particularly of passing trains that had been moving up and down the tracks throughout the canyon that day. One of the pictures that was posted to Facebook shows Savannah with her hair blowing in the wind, talking about how standing right next to the train felt awesome. Hundreds of links pointing to the picture with more than 30 comments of friends and family talking about not only how good the pictures were, but how they should be safe and careful being so close to those train tracks with active trains on them. Unfortunately, one of the pictures that was automatically uploaded to social media captured a picture of all three girls smiling and laughing, but in the upper right-hand corner of the photo, you can see a very bright light not all that far in the distance. Turns out the bright light was attached to the front of a locomotive pulling a fully loaded train behind, and that while the girls were distracted with the train that was moving in the opposite direction on the tracks opposite them, they never heard or saw this locomotive barreling down the same tracks that they were standing on. Sadly, this accident took the lives of all three girls without them ever knowing that it happened. A Union Pacific train engineer on the eastbound train, the train across from them, the train that they did not see, was frantically trying to warn them that another train was coming down the tracks from the opposite direction, but they never heard or saw the warnings. Hopefully this sad story is a cautionary tale for anybody thinking about spending a day out on the train tracks, especially active train tracks, and snapping photos in your own little world. Check twice to save your life. Subscribe for more.